What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. What I have for you today is a Minecraft 1.8 mod, which is pretty useful for map makers or people who create bigger command block contraptions. Because what I have for you today is the command groups mod. Now this was suggested to me by Axel181 on Twitter and he sent me a photoshopped image of a mod that he would like to see and yeah what it should be able to do is um, allow you to group command blocks by a color and give them a name tag now why would you want this because for example this is uh, all of the command blocks for my boomerang um, contraption I've showed that in a different video and if I want to edit a specific thing, for example, if there is a bug when throwing um, the boomerang, I can just go over, show the command groups like this, and as you can see, we have multiple different colors there. Now, I can toggle through um, all of these colors, so I can like um, cycle through them using the N key. Those keys are customizable in the options menu. And yeah, so if I want to know what the uh, throwing system is, just toggle through it, etc. And yeah, I've just set this up as an example, it's really helpful. And let's see how to actually use the mod. When you hit the M key, you can uh, open the command group manager and add as many groups as you wish with a specific name. And you can also define the color which they should have from this color chooser. So I've just added a one which is called new command group just for demonstration purposes. So if we have a command block um, which is important to us, we can just um, cycle until we have the desired command group. You can see it in the upper left corner. Hit B and voila. Now the upside of this thing is that if you want to make showcases, you can keep an overview very easily um, while explaining. Also, it can be used to highlight specific command blocks in videos, so I think that's a pretty nifty tool for any video makers. And this, um, the data, like which command blocks are highlighted, are actually saved in the world save. So, if you send the world save to somebody else, he can also install the mod and see those um, colored command blocks, but it will still work if he doesn't have the mod. So, it's just an optional thing and it doesn't get lost if he doesn't have the mod installed and I think that's pretty nice. Now, there is another cool feature about this mod and it's called protection mode. Because if you toggle the protection mode, you cannot accidentally break any command blocks which are in a command group. So I can't just break this command block. It will just pop up again and it will keep the uh, it will keep the command. So you can toggle that using the C key by default. Um, as I already mentioned, you can modify those hotkeys in the uh, control settings as you wish and Using the X key by default you can just uh, disable those labels if they annoy you. And yeah, this also works on servers, however it's sometimes uh, a bit unreliable when, s when somebody else breaks the command block, not you, um, and replaces a different command block, it might be added to the group again, but it, it works pretty fine. I'm uh, actually satisfied with how it performs. So yeah. The download link is of course in the video description, make sure to check it out. If you enjoyed this, feel free to give a thumbs up or a subscription for more awesome Minecraft mods which will follow and leave a nice comment in the Minecraft forum thread. As always, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're going to have a use for it and see you next time, bye! Mm-hmm. <laughs>